Hey, uh, greetings everyone. So, um, I just finished Net Cruiser's video on how to get better uh, throttle response and everything like that. So, uh, I have a 2019 Mark 7.5 Golf R. Um, I'm going to try to follow his steps and shorten them, see how it goes. Okay, so I'm using OBD11, but you can also, of course, use VCDS, uh, VAGCOM for this. So, uh, step one, he tells us to go into steering assistance control module into adaptation and we are looking for driver profile switchover which i found and for here whoops from here we'll want to go to from incremental to direct controlled over threshold value hit okay and i'm going to make this change Okay, so step two, let's see, engine, it says go to engine control module and change the long coding. So let's try this, uh, long coding, get this air, uh, warning message saying, hey, this might not be accurate. If it's provided by other users, I'm just going to dismiss. So we're on byte zero zero, which is what he calls for, and the stock coding on mine um, is zero nine, uh, worth mentioning. In case I haven't before, or in case it gets edited out, I'm at a, an APR uh, Stage 1 flash tune. And this is still um, still in the stock uh, Volkswagen profile. So I'm going to disable by bit 1, bit 3. I'm going to go enable bit 1, and we're looking for a long coding status of 0, 2. It's going to hold it. Coding accepted. Okay, moving on to the next step. Uh, so step three in NetCruise's video was to change the adaptive cruise control uh, brand logic to Audi uh, to get his adaptive cruise working. So let me try that. Back in my own D OBD11 control units, I'm going to find adaptive cruise control. Okay, the long coding for adaptive cruise control finally loaded. So I noticed it's towards the bottom here. And we're looking for brand logic. Oh, brand logic. Changing this to Audi. And brand logic was pretty much four fifths or 80% down towards the bottom. I'm going to make my. Cancel that. Cancel. I'm going to make my change. Coding accepted. All right. And I believe there was one more unit that we had to change. Okay, so at the end of uh, Net Cruiser's video, he did say he had to deactivate uh, rough road optimization in order to get his launch control working better. So uh, that step is in brakes. I come down to control unit, select brakes. Looking for adaptation. And I noticed it's towards the bottom. Rough road optimization. Mine is about three up. And I'm going to take it from activated to not activated. Okay. Press and hold. Okay, I get a maneuver parking brake function error which and brake boosted brake booster limited which uh net cruiser did say appeared but only once i'm going to shut down the car and uh see what happens if i relaunch it if i restart okay so all i did after that was i just restarted the car and after turning it off again the errors went away but let's try it again says I need an oil change at 2,700 miles, and I, my rear left tire is fine, but uh, I've never had a car with a good tire pressure monitoring system that was always accurate. But anyway, my um, all my warnings are deactivated, so now I'm going to go take a drive and see how it okay. goes. Just a quick check to make sure launch control still works. I have it in sport mode uh, for traction, but not turned off. Uh, Really quick fact, if you're a fan of The Office, this is The Office uh, where it was filmed. Um, but anyway, let's see if it goes. Yep, 
it doesn't slip as much, so that's good. All right, moving on. All right, sorry, adaptive cruise control. There's the office again for the US, uh, US version. Let's see if this works. Foot off gas. Go. Okay, I had to tap the gas to get it started, but let's see. Set for 40 miles per hour. People taking pictures in front of the office building. not really a car in front of me to test this out and see if it does its thing. So for 48, 45. I haven't really used it before, so I don't know its behavior, but let's check it out. Down to 40, 39. It seems to be doing its thing. So, yep, it's slowing me down. That's not me doing it, but I am nervous, so I'm gonna take over control from here. No errors with adaptive cruise. Awesome. Launch. Okay. Definitely launches better than before, so that's good. Okay, so now I'm parked back at home. Overall impressions, it does seem to respond a little bit better. Um, definitely launches better. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, <laughs> we still need more go fast parts, right? Uh, thanks for watching. I'd recommend it, and I'll uh, I'll put a uh, detailed list of what I did in the description. All right, have a good one later.